I'm Andrew Rainey and welcome to Kickstart This, where I'll share with you some of the best video game crowdfunding projects that I've found in Kickstarter over the last few weeks. Now before we dive into the projects that I think are worth a look, I just want to give an update on one of the games that I showed in the last episode, Little Nemo and the Nightmare Fiends, which is an indie game based on the comics by Windsor McKay. It actually managed to reach its funding goal with just a couple of days to spare. Uh, I decided to back the game, so I'm glad so many of you did as well. Just a quick reminder that there are some other games from the last episode looking for fun still, including stop motion platform adventure Voku Volantis, action RPG Hollow Mental, and the amazing looking platformer Sacked. They're all still looking for funds to reach their initial goal. Especially Sacked, it only has a couple of days left, and it's another game that I've backed myself. I cannot sing its praises highly enough. It just looks like a great platformer, and I really hope they manage to pull it off and find the funding. I'll be putting all the links to the games that I've mentioned in the comments as well, so you can have a quick glance at them. Uh, looking ahead at this episode, first up we have pixel art 2D action adventure game Lost Souls. Then we have Mushroom Metroidvania Adventure Lone Fungus. And just to keep the theme of 2D games, we have retro horror pixel game Skeller Boy, which is going old school with the old anaglyph red-blue 3D glasses. Lastly, we have the Mary Shelley inspired Thy Creature. Let's jump in. Lost Souls is a bright and colourful 2D action platformer inspired by the likes of Hollow Knight and Super Metroid, though the art style reminds me a little bit more of Hyper Light Drifter. The story sees the main character, a knight of the realm, battling through the underworld as he seeks revenge for his brother's death. Now there are plenty of Metroidvania games out there, so you really have to do something different to stand out in such a saturated genre. Thankfully Lost Souls has a beautiful art style that has a punk fantasy vibe to it, it's really nice. The main character with his bright green hair and purple scarf really stand out from the environments which are all equally bright and gorgeous. Some of the environments like the old city of Tong Ti seem to be drawn direct from Myanmar culture which is something we rarely see in video games. Um, add to that a mysterious story filled with unexpected twists and you have the making of a great game. Now, it could be easy to overlook this game. From It's the first game from Myanmar developer Tet Nang U, and some of the descriptions on Kickstarter may have been lost in translation. But the game, it speaks for itself, and Tet has even included a demo within his Kickstarter page, so you can try it out before you make your pledges. For a copy of the game and your name in the credits, you need to pledge nine euros or more. However, there is an early bird tier limited to the first 50 people, which knocks it down to seven euros, which is an absolute bargain, to be honest. If you like your goodies digital, then there's either the sound collector or art collector tiers at 25 euros each, and you get either the soundtrack or the art book. If you want both, then there's a mega collector tier for 45 euros. Again, there's an early bird offer, so you can get all that for 40 euros, which is a steal. Now, if you have ever wanted to see your name as producer of a video game, well, this is one of the cheapest offers around. For 400 euros, you get your name as a producer on the credits, but you also get a statue of yourself in the game, as well as being an NPC. There's also an early bug for this as well, so it takes it down to 375 euros, but it is only for two people, so you better be quick. Now, for those of you who had a Nintendo DS or a Wii, you might remember a great Wii platformer called Mushroom Men, and Lone Fungus looks like it had a baby with that and Axie and Verge, which I hold as one of the best Metroid games out there, and I can't wait for the sequel. The reason I say Axie and Verge is that there is a map that is huge. There are 13 sprawling areas, each with their own boss to beat, and these bosses look like the absolute business. Lone Fungus has this bright neon colour scheme and that mixes with the dark subterranean levels to create something I'd class as Grimlight. Um, the sprawling game world has been well thought out and the level of attention to detail is insane and you can tell that this is developer Sebastian Brick's dream project. The combat looks Devastatingly simple, which is great because it allows you to barter through the game at a breakneck pace. 
Um, as I said, this game looks the business. From the little I've glimpsed, the level design looks amazing. And with 13 levels and bosses, it's going to be a lot of game to get through. There are also a ton of collectibles, including over 60 relics and 15 unlockable abilities. That's one of my favourite aspects of this game as well, is if you change your ability, the top of your mushroom, known as the cap, also changes to match. Now, as developer Basti is based in Sweden, all of her prices are in Swedish krona. So for a copy of the game, you're looking at 179 krona, which works out around about £15. Many of the middle tier pledges have the same sort of rewards, but with different levels of beta access and credits. So for up to 700 krona, which is about £58, you get the game, backer updates, digital copy of the soundtrack, special Discord role, early access, and two exclusive backer skins, as well as a digital map of the world, which you will probably need because it is huge. Now, for those of you with a bit more money to burn, you should have a look at the designer pledges. For 4,000 krona, you can design a relic, while for 5,000 krona, you can design an enemy character. Both of these tiers come with four copies of the games to share with your friends, plus all previous rewards. Skeller Boy is a 2.5D horror pixel art video game with anaglyph 3D scenes. What that means is that it uses old school 3D glasses with the red blue lenses. Now it occurs to me that some people watching this may not have even worn a pair of these as they weren't alive during the 80s or 90s, so this is what I mean. Now the game itself takes inspiration from movies from the 70s and 80s, including Exorcist, Terminator, The Shining and Labyrinth to name but a few. However, developer Manic Boy Studio is being very coy with their plot, so it's all a bit of a mystery as to what happens in the game itself. This game is going proper old school. Along with the 3D glasses scenes, the game is being designed for PC, Android and iOS, but there will also be replica cart versions for the NES and the Game Boy. Unfortunately, they are not actually playable on those consoles. The gameplay is described as dark and disturbing, with hundreds of conversations to work through and lots of puzzles and clues to solve. I'm getting a bit of a Donnie Darko Stranger Things vibe from the game, where everything might not be as it appears, but it's intrigued me enough to want to find out more. If you're looking for just a copy of the digital game, uh, a pledge of 12 euros or more will get you that, plus your name, the credits, and a PDF for you to print out some of the glasses, as well as one of the maps from the game. So it's a lot for the lowest tiers. Um, if you're holding out for the NES box replica, you're looking at a pledge of about 100 euros or more. This also comes with a keychain of the main character, the soundtrack on a USB stick, a poster and map as well. Now again, there is a tier where you can become a producer on a game, but on this one, it's a thousand euros or more. Uh, you will also have your likeness within the game as an NPC, and the developers will even give your character some dialogue to chew on as well, but they cannot guarantee that you will survive the game. Lastly, we have Thy Creature from developer Maz M. This dark fantasy adventure game is inspired by the works of Mary Shelley, specifically her seminal novel Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus. You play as the creature, here presented as a woman, and you work your way up the tower searching for your creator, Victor Frankenstein. As you climb, you face memories from your past which take the form of mazes that you have to escape from. As you would expect from a game based on Shelley's work, it's all very dark and gothic. The game appears like an old style film with grain and marked reels, uh, there's flashes of colour standing out against the monotone levels though as well. Now this is coupled with a beautiful hand-drawn art style on the cutscenes that give it a really strong visual identity. Despite its darkness and lack of colour, it does feel really fresh and new. Now the studio has form in this sort of area. Uh, they've successfully made game interpretations of other famous literary works, including Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde and also Phantom of the Opera. Knowing that they have that experience and success behind them gives me the confidence that they will get this game finished and published, which is always a worry when you're crowdfunding a game. So for a pledge of $15, you'll get a key for the game on Steam, as well as beta access, while for just $10 more, you get a copy of the digital soundtrack as well. If you are looking for some nigh creature goodies, check out the $149 tier, which comes with the game and the soundtrack, but you also get a plushie and a metal pin badge as well. Um, now the top tier for Thy Creature comes in at a rather hefty $1,999. 
comes with all the goodies that I've mentioned, plus you get to create your own creature and a special story for them to be part of. That's all from me. I'll be keeping an eye on the progress of these projects and helping them out by spreading the word on Twitter at Andrew Rainey and at kick underscore start underscore this. So feel free to come and follow me and spread the word even further. If you can help out these developers, then please click on the project link in the comments to give them a donation. If you cannot afford to donate, I'm sure they would appreciate it if you share the link to their Kickstarter page across all of your social media. If you love crowdfunding and video games as much as I do, and you want to hear about exciting new campaigns that I find, remember to hit the subscribe and the alert buttons. I'm really hoping to grow this channel and start using any funds that I get to create a Kickstarter pot that will help give developers a little push over the finish line as and when they need it. And if you are someone who has just launched a crowdfunding campaign or you're just about to, then please get in contact with me because I'm looking to expand the channel and interview developers and hear all about their crowdfunding stories. Until next time.